But in so many words, this thing is talking about egos. It's talking about ourselves. The other thing that clutters up and keeps things locked in is this. And we just, I just, we, I, like I said, I had a, a brother that came, that moved all his shit, got through out of his apartment, and I had a little sunroom on my house. It's like a porch, but it's, it's a sunroom because it got the windows and stuff. It's equivalent to a front porch, but it's on the side of the house. And I took all of his stuff and put it in the sunroom. And because this is the brother that turned me on to consciousness, I decided years ago, I decided to keep his stuff for four years. I don't know. And so in the feng shui, what happened was the room that all the stuff in, because it was blocked and cluttered, the more rooms you have cleaned out, the more prosperity comes to you. Because we didn't have that room cleaned out, it was almost like not having a room on the house at all because everything down here is a living and breathing essence, an inanimate organism. You see what I'm saying? Include an inanimate object. Even inanimate objects are living things. So therefore, when we cleaned out the room, more prosperity started coming. That's the whole concept of opening the way and cleaning out your house and cleaning up things. And basically the first thing to do to get this prosperity and to open this shit up, because it also has something to do with your own essence, is this. You got to start throwing shit away. We keep a lot of shit that we don't need. So my queen now, my goddess now, she's famous for going to motherfucker house and throwing shit away. <laughs> She said, motherfucker mad at me because I go in the house and everything, I throw it in the trash can. I'm like, well, goddamn. And so my, the last year that I've been with her, year and a half, has been these words. Where the fuck is this shit? Where's my shit? Where's this? Where's that? I threw that damn shit away. I said, this motherfucker crazy. <laughs> but it was the spirit what I'm saying, this shit here, you don't need that shit. A lot of shit we got, we don't need. And as a result, we, the energy that's coming to us, and it's even down to the health level, the prosperity level, and even the spiritual level. If you throw the shit away and you get more and more space, you get the more and more you get spiritually. You got to throw shit away. Get to the minimum of what you need or the minimal level of things in your house because you say, well, what does this got to do with spirit? Those things are still material. Yes, and the more material you, you have, the more you block the spirit. So you got to throw a bunch of shit away. Tons and tons of things. So the last year has been going through shit and say, do I really need to? Well, I didn't have to do it. The motherfucker did it for me. <laughs> <laughs> My woman, I could where the shit is. You know what I'm saying? Throwing the stuff away. You see, and that's one of the keys to this particular thing. Y'all all right? Yes. Moving right along. Moving right along. We are the ship. I got a couple of things here. We are the ship. Number one, this is the temple of Angkor Wat. It's say, it's, what is Egypt called? Egypt is called what? Cam. Cambodia is called Camir. It's talking about the same Egyptian people. This is a picture of a brother, the average brother at Cam. Cambodia, Angkor Wat. He got the Egyptian robe, got the head, got, got the, the dreads, and all of that. That's the average brother, and I showed you the average sister earlier. You see, the average sister earlier. That cam, that's why it's called uh, The God Horace Live. It's in a book called Stairway to Heaven by, on this Cambodia stuff, by Graham Hancock. It was a $50, $45, dollars book, now it's like $25. Now on paperback, it's called Stairway to Heaven. And they go to all these sacred sites. Now, we are the ship, and this is also coming from the same book that you need to get. Man, this is one of these 1962 models here, man. Pull the whole part back. Huh? It's got a what? Oh, you gotta pull that back. Yeah, that's right. That's all you gotta do, right? No, you gotta pull it up some shit. Yeah, let's see. You gotta pull it up some. Now, push that up. Here is two pictures. This is in the same book, The Lucid View. The same book that's got the implants. The Lucid View by Aeolus, what is it? A-E-O-L-U-S. Kepus. C-K-E-P-U-S. -E -P 
P-H-A-S. This is hot now. The lucid view. They got everything from implants to UFOs to the crawly shit, Gnostic, Satanism, Lucifer. They got all the shit in this book called The Lucid View by Alias, uh, L -A -A, what's that? A-E-L, no, A-E-O-L-U-S, Kephas, K-E-P-H, A-S, Kephas or something. Uh, the lucid view. And these pictures are in here, and I'm trying, but the key here is, is this particular one that it says, Isis descending, or Aset descending. As you can see, the wings, which is the wing Maya, makes some type of ship. In this particular one, here's a European version. It says the virgin goddess. And in this, let's see if you can, in this particular virgin, it's a goddess with the wings, but up here you see some type of ship. Now, the winged Isis that you have here is a form of Maya. The modern forms of Maya you will see has she has six, she has um, four arms or eight arms. Its arms in India, its wings in uh, of Kemet. The same aspect of Maya and stuff, the stuff that I'm telling you about this goddess, Lakshmi is the same aspect of the mothership in these particular ships. Remember now, you're saying, well, wait a minute, hold on now. Explain this shit to me because it's confusing. You're saying it's a ship. <coughs> but then again, you're saying it's a goddess. But then again, you're saying it's us. The goddess, Maya, is the same goddess of Venus is Izuli, or Erzuli, two aspects of Erzuli. This is the, yeah, these, these, you gotta get a damn new model of this shit here. This is the one from the Petro Rites, and this is the one from the Petro Rites, and this is the one from the Rada Rites. This is the light side, and this is the dark side, but it's not talking about a negative but positive. It's just two aspects of the goddess, light goddess, dark goddess. The key here is, you still see the heart. This is Venus, this is the West African form, or the Western Hemisphere form now, of the goddess Lakshmi in, in, in India, the goddess Hetheru Mayat in Kemet. In so many words, by it being the heart, these things that you see in the sky descending here and here is nothing but your heart chakra. That is the ship. That is the ship. Which goes to this particular... Get the tape, it'll be better for you. Which goes to this particular symbol is the supreme Sri Chakra. Sri Lakshmi is her name and this is the chakra, Sri Chakra. It is not only this Sri Chakra here, let me show you this, the Sri Chakra here is also the supreme chakra of the goddess called Lolita. And Lolita is the sexual aspect of Durga. So Durga, Kali, Lolita. Lakshmi, Pravati, they are all talking about the Shakti energy, which is the same essence, which this is their symbol, which is the heart chakra. And inside of here is this, this thing going down here. You also see, you'll see this particular picture here. You'll see this picture of a triangle. Let's see if I can, of a triangle. Y'all all right? Yeah. Well, get the tape. <laughs> it, of a triangle and a point on the inside. Well, this triangle, anytime you see an upside down triangle, if you draw some legs, that's the pubic hair, and the point is the G spot. Or if you're a man, it's the pineal gland or the woman. These things are talking about representative of the inner workings of us in the heart chakra is the, is the mothership that they're talking about. It's inside of us. And this Sri Yantra here, only thing you have to do is to 
meditate on it, put it on your wall, and although you might not know it, it's lining up the DNA on the inside of you just by you looking at it. So you don't have to meditate on it and try to wait for a reaction. It's coming from the cells, it's the inner world. So what happens is this, you meditate on these, just looking at these lines up different matrices of DNA on the inside of you, and you don't even have to even do on a meditative state. Whenever you look at that, there's something that happens in your body without you even noticing it. Until sooner or later, this shit is gonna become real like a, a doorway, and it will appear, when it becomes like a doorway, it will appear Like this one, this whirlwind of this particular ship type essence that is coming out of this and this. So in so many words, you go outside, you will see these ships that are stationary and they, get, they make these colors. The only reason why you don't notice it now because in 1971 or 1970, the, the, the government got together and said we must put red and green lights on all airplanes to camouflage this particular ship. Mm. But the basic, when you go outside and the basic colors and those things you see out in the sky, because